I want to ask about EJ Speed. Um, obviously, got a ton of reps with Darius out. What mm -hmm. have you seen from him the past week? Yeah, EJ's been working, and you know, it's uh, he's got a ton of reps at the will spot. You know, which is the weak side linebacker next to you know next to uh, Bobby in the nickel defense, and we pretty much have him staying there in base defense as well. And really, the for him is just, and this is going to sign rudimentary, but it's alignment, assignment, key and technique, down in and down out. Now you'll see plays with EJ on screens and, and different space plays that man, he's he's really doing a nice job because he's a great mover and he's a you know he's a big athlete. And we just got to get him on the details, and he's working at that. He's getting better every single day at that, and you know it's it's just a work in progress. But we actually actually like that he's getting the work because you know we've been uh, with a walk, you know leaving leaving us this year. He was the backup. Will as you guys remember uh, last year when Darius uh, went down, uh, the last pre two years we put a walk at the will spot, and then Bobby was at the mic. So that's a critical position for us in terms of uh, having a backup there. And we're trying to solidify that. And there's competition there. We just got, once we get everybody back, we'll start moving more guys in there. But we'll see how it goes. But he's doing well. And as he gets, you know, all those things you talked about, just alignment, assignment, and all that down, how much can his instincts of just getting his hands on balls come through? Yeah, that's part, that's part of him. That's the hot spot, you know. And that's, where, that's why Darius is there, because he's right over the football. And uh, his length, the being the way it is, Darius the same way. They do get their hands on a lot of footballs, you know, in that area, because uh, a lot of uh, routes and route concepts are thrown in that area. So uh, that's why we call it the hot spot. So he's doing a good job with that. He's had a couple breakups today. You know, he's uh, he's he's really good at that technique. So we're excited about where he is. Has Ben Vanderbilt taken his biggest step forward as it seems like he is? Uh, yeah, he's taken big steps. He really has. And he's in these eight or nine practices that we've had now. Um, the biggest thing is playing fast, and I, you know I, I know he said that the other day, and he's been telling me that. So, what we did uh, over the break here this last time was we had a checkpoint with our fundamentals. So I talked about that a couple times ago. But what we did was each guy sat down with their coach, and they talked about what are they going to work on fundamentally um, these next three stacks of practices, and that's important that they do that. And I went around and asked each guy during the stretch just to remind them, hey. What did you and your coach talk about working on today? Just so they can refocus their mind to work on those things, and that's that's an important part. That's an important component. And relative to Ben, you know, he's working on playing fast, okay, and working with his hands and his speed rush, and that's what he's working at. And he's done a good job so far at camp. How do you think confidence also a part of you know a young player's progression? Because to see him bouncing around out here, even you know after the whistle and you know, showing that kind of spirit, it seems like that may be a factor. Yeah, confidence is a big thing, as you know, in any sport. You know, really, it's it's in your livelihood. You know, confidence is 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 everything, and I think you get confidence by hard work. You know, because hard work, you start to execute, you start to succeed at things, and that's what Ben's done. He had a great summer. Uh, I know he worked with uh, with you know Buck uh, some, and trained with him, and he's got his body right, and he's done a, a good job of that. And that's where his confidence is coming from. His confidence is coming from the work he's doing on the practice field and the execution and the wins he's making on the practice field. So he's just got to continue that, and he will. Coach Baker talked about him playing without the clutter and, and just kind of playing free and reading and reacting. Right. Are you seeing the same thing out there? Yeah, I think that comes from study and, and, and preparation. You know, you got when you prepare well and you're prepared that way, then you can go out and execute, and that takes away the clutter. And I think he's doing that, and that's just part of his preparation. Matt, um, what do you think the last two years have been like for Kamoko? For Kamoko? Yeah, well, I think it's been, I think it's been uh, a lot of adversity for him. I think he's had to struggle through a lot of adversity, and adversity came in the way of injury. Um, you know, he comes up into the Kansas City game two years ago, and he's, and he's lighting it up, and he's doing a really nice job, and he gets injured. And that season's done. He comes back, he's not fully healthy and adversity hits again. And you could see it on the practice field where he wasn't fully there. You know, he couldn't. What's that like for a player when you're, you feel the pressure to come back, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And you're not yourself, and you're still in that like kind of abyss, right? Yeah, and, and just speaking with him, it's, it's frustrating. You know, it's frustrating where he wants his mind's telling him, yes, let's go, let's go, and his body's not there yet. And, and so we're seeing where he, his body is starting to be 100% now. And he's having a good camp, and he's getting uh, good rushes in, one-on-ones, and in teamwork. And, and we're excited about him now having a positive side uh, to the look, his look at football. You know, because before it was just more frustration because of the injury. And, and he's through that now, 
and just, you know, knock on wood, he's through it, and we're, we're, we're rolling and we're going. So we're excited where he is. And when he's rolling, he can do things that not a lot of defensive ends on your roster can do, right? I mean, he's got a pretty unique skill set. Yeah, he does because his takeoff is so good. You know, he's got he's got elite takeoff, and then his you know what he's been working on is his move area. You know, so everything starts with a speed rush, and then what is he going to do once he connects with the offensive lineman at four and a half yards? So that's what he's been working on. You know, so throw his fastball, and then he's going to have one counter, and that's what that's what we're working on right now. What went into what went into Andre Chasure playing safety today? He's got a corner in his career. Well, as you know, uh, Julian had a little bit of a, a, a issue today with uh, with uh, some lower extremity. I don't know what it is, but he had to step out of practice for a minute, and Andre stepped in. So that that's just what we did. Is he normally a corner? or? Well, Andre, we're looking at several positions. We, we really feel good about where Andre is uh, because he's played so far for us at, at corner. He can play safety, and he can play nickel. So he's got he's a versatile athlete. And that's something you look for in the bottom part of your roster. You know, if you're not the one, two, but if you're the three, four, or five at a position, you got to have that position flex, and that's what he has. And he's he's done a good job. And one thing about, I'll tell you one thing about Dre, okay? Last year, okay, he was on the show team, all right? And this guy took every rep. I'm talking about 90 reps every single day, all right? And he just did it time and time again and didn't say boo and just kept going with a positive attitude and this guy is is having a real good camp for us. Now, um, last time we talked, you were pleased with the pass rush, but you know you kind of threw up the caution flag of like, let's see what happens when full pads come on. Or right. Full pads have been on. Yep. How would you evaluate it? Yeah, I think it's progressing. I would say that the pass rush is progressing. It's it's day by day. You know, we're putting in different fronts now. We're putting in different games. Uh, we're doing those types of things. So that's the learning process. But in terms of overall, I would say it's it's on track. Uh, but as you know, it's never good enough. You know, so you got you got to get there. We want him there every time. How about Quiddy? How, how's his progression been? You know, you don't expect it to be immediate, but just what have you seen over the course of two weeks now? Yeah, so uh, his progression is right on pace. It really is. He's he's a guy that loves to learn, um, and he processes in the meetings. But when he's on the field, what's good about Quiddy is that he just he just goes. You know, and I, and I asked him today, "What's your fundamental you're working on?" He said, "I'm playing fast," which is what I want to hear. You know, but fundamentally, he was working on a couple of things, you know, uh, you know, just fundamentally. But he's he's doing a good job of playing fast. and He's got to continue to do that. Are you seeing another gear like Grover Stewart? It looked like he took over some practices at times. Recently. Yeah, he's done that. He's done that. Grover is, is a special guy. You know, his effort is really his mainstay and his what he hangs his hat on. And, and Grover really is uh, is taking over that spot and uh, is a force in there.